Hello, hello. Here is the second match from the second round of the season finals that I played, round of eight, uh, again against Catholic Alcoholic on a J2 with this map called, I think. And I'm here on my favorite Wood Elves against the opponent's Empire. Um, rather strange match currently and heavily debated by both sides who's actually a favorite here uh, but yeah um the empire side has opted for a state tripper core as always um purely spearmen here and uh long rifles three of them quite the heavy commitment to them but um they are a bane to all wood of shooting um no wall of shooting can take a real firefight with them due to the range if the Empire scouts properly. Um, and then we have a tank commander here. Uh, sadly, also, as per usual, with a restock. But since he can't target himself, it won't be so problematic. And a Jade Wizard and a Bright Wizard. So the Jade Wizard is just there in case the tank goes low to hear them and the bright wizard is the main caster with the burning hat and yeah i have to arrow of kernels caster uh casters ha uh shooters here um way stalkers um grabbing the points early and stretcher the vanguard deploy vanguard zones on this map are really aggressive i think you can deploy on this point and almost till this line here. Um, two way watchers. Their idea is to take out a tank in a way. Um, if the tank tries to engage one, um, you run in a way that the other one can shoot into the back where the direction of shield plating isn't. But uh, it's it's still not a pretty situation. So I, thought I should have, have something to at least try Keep to contest the with the tank, which might have been a mistake um, uh, as shown later. Um, three glade guards and some spears uh, and up here the build. You can see I the arrow of Karnos does really good damage against the long rifles and if you overcast the miasma it has a range of 300 uh, so you can also target them and get them down fairly decently so you see one is almost dead with one has lost seven models and i first retreat um to somewhere where the long rifles can't hit me and try to get them down uh, by waiting for the cooldowns for the Elder of Kynos to come back up. Um, with this little nice chain tomb here, I can hide myself uh, really in the vicinity of the point to still exert some control or on it or at least be close to it to taking it back. Here's some overcast damage on uh, Dreicher, but honestly I don't care because she has this uh, fanatical resolve, which gives an aura that uh, dials up as more the more damage she takes. So, um, getting some self damage is actually kind of nice for her. Um, you have to be careful for her not to die completely, but um, usually the opponent really doesn't want to damage her. Here, a side shot from the Arrow of Karnos dealing even more damage. Uh, the other one wasn't as devastating at first, but um, I've greatly reduced the threat. The problem is, even like a third of a unit left can do devastating damage here, actually. 25 models to the left, and yeah, you see, they will kill this Glade Guard in a few volleys. Um, if I don't deal with them. Uh, I thought I could should try to contest some shooting here, but it really doesn't work. Um, 
with only a few models and rather spread out and the range advantage they can just backpedal and I just lost one and a half units here from uh, getting this damage. I should have waited maybe just waste stalkers but they also can take out such units really quickly. Um, targeting was a bit off but yeah that's just luckily only half a unit left. Uh, so I guess something of my unit here will escape, but not a lot. The last Miasma, and I think that finally breaks it, though it's the effectiveness drops as it uh, goes below 25 models, but this actually completely wiped it. Uh, though it was the third Miasma casted on it, so and overcasted, so 30 wins of magic just for that. Um, here I moved my waste weight watchers, uh, the unit, not the stalkers, uh, in to seal the deal with those guys. And what I should have done in this moment is completely retreat here because this is not a good positioning for them. Um, instead, I somehow go aggressive and go for this point. I should have sat back this year now that I see it I realize it um, I had no reason to go this aggressive and trying to get this point um, opponent summons Empire Knights and Knights of the Blazing Sun and I no longer have any Earth of Karnas um, to deal with them and uh, also open my ranks here completely to you see there's a very easy approach angle into my backfield and I only have a Glade Rider which which can't stop recovery. Um, I think I was a bit greed blinded here by the opportunity to take out the caster. Uh, which before breaking still got a burning head off. Okay I see that that of course crashed us completely and um kind of obliterates my flank completely with that. Knights of the Blazing Sun with their fire damage are of course a very good unit against Dryads and with this overwhelm and the tank here, I guess the tank did the most work, um, no chance for them and this push was dumb, I see it. Uh, <laughs> the long rifles here actually taking down my Waywatchers, um, kinda bit scary uh, that they almost win the shootout so <laughs> I, I mean it wasn't a real shootout the way watchers weren't targeting that where am I moving them wow that must have been a weird misclick I had did there my bad um, spending another miasma to just finish them off the opponent just summons a new one um, we're fairly late in the game and the first one was shattered rather early um, yeah, more burning hats going through my dryads, and my flank here got completely obliterated. Uh, at this point, I was really, I, I was almost throwing the towel because they get so much momentum, and they have the tank here, which is completely unscathed, and my way watchers, which, well, were kind of meant to deal with them, uh, were already down. Um, the great stack knights I summoned here going in the clash with knights of the blazing sun, but they're not going out of that, coming out of that unscathed. Dredger aura trying to buff it a bit, but the aura isn't completely ramped up yet. Still a good buff, but not devastating. And I am a bit stuck here, I can't really pull out. Uh, uh, maybe I could have. Um, but the Empire Knights I'm, that the Stack Knights need to deal with are here, and I was kind of hoping that the spears are breaking, probably. Um, opponent taking my home point, and um, I've taken this, so it's not a reverse triple cap, uh, a triple cap on me, but I have to retreat from here since I have no more infantry. All my Dryads kind of got wasted and dump over extension moves, or turned down and burned by the burning head. Um, 
But opponent also, if you look at this line, there is no reinforcements coming in currently, so they are pretty isolated here. Um, and this is a bit of a messy fight, but I have some scraps coming back. Um, but I was pretty sure that I would be able to take this down before some reinforcement come and also get a bit of value back here with Dreitcher and the Frey and um, Dryads trade favorably into state troopers, especially if Dreitcher is close, so I should move her away. Um, though the tank um, was there and I have no clue what to do about it, to be honest, at this point, so I just figured I ignore it and see how far I can get with that. Um, Empire Knights against Glade Riders, it's definitely not a favorable fight, but some Dredger support. Um, I had some scraps here uh, that rallied somewhere in the backfield. Uh, the remnants of the race of the frozen hearts and some eternal god that really stuffed stuff back here and actually even delayed those long rivals from arriving um which yeah necessary move uh, i can't really afford having them online so i also again rather aggressively push for this point um taking this side, which is a bit surprising. I had yeah, this flagellants moved off the point, so um, I had the opportunity to take it. Um, they didn't really have a reason to go there. They can't chase my cavalry. I think that's what, what, they're, what they're doing. Um, micro slip here, I managed to get the long rifles who were on the point and should have retreated, but didn't. Um, so I get them. Which is good. Get them a second time. Um, Wild Hunters of Karnos. Not the favorite to go against Flagellant, so uh, the magic attacks helps with the uh, physical resistance, but somehow the charge they got was a little bit off, and so, yeah, they should be rather be fighting the armored calves that comes around here. And. I think I'll, yeah, turn them around in time to get this. So, um, here is enemy units that get routed off the point rallying, but I'm not super worried. I have some units coming in that should be able to clear that. Um, and this is a bit of a, yeah, Firebug errors are hard to deal with if you don't have any units, and they are probably one of the few things that really can stall a tank <laughs> uh, and not get horrifying return damage in for that. So I'm kind of surprised myself that I am able to take this point here. Um, opponent invested a lot of cavalry on this side to try and reinforce that. Uh, support the flagellants that's still going on here, you but um, with a bit of archer fire support, um, my Wild Hunters of Karnos are really an armored calf crack unit and del uh, deleted the Knights of the Blazing Sun. I'm not sure how the charges were here, how well they were, but yeah. Um, so, I managed to get a triple cap. Uh, I'm not sure I needed it completely uh, with the points. I, I don't think I needed the triple cap yet, but um, it's nice to have. It puts the opponent on the clock. Um, though taking the point here is actually looking a bit sketchy, though with the back charges here it should break. And all those units will be one by one cycled down with the Glade Rider, just going into the backs of them one by one. Um, of course this point here will not hold for a long time um, and kind of Dreitcher isn't where <laughs> I need her. I think I need her over there to boost that. Um, this is just a stalling operation so that this infantry can't push for this point. Um, the Flagellants, I'm really surprised with them. They 
paid for themselves despite being on a kind of operation behind enemy lines for the whole time. Um, still some burning heads in there. Yeah, this can happen if you snipe a caster early. Um, honestly, it was probably not worth it since this guy costs uh, 250 base, 100 for the burning heads, and 100 for the lower passive, so. 450, 500, whatever, somewhere in this ballpark, and comes back later, resummoned, and uh, is able to cast the remaining Winds of Magic out. And I don't think I forced any regrows on the Master Engineer, so this guy still has a lot of wins. Um. I'm not sure if this was the right call from my side here, pushing forward to again try to take this point back. Uh, there, maybe there actually was a chance. Um, with Dreitcher here and the Dread and Glade Rider. Uh, the Dreitcher needs to apply the aura here. They are outside there. That's a bit sloppy here from my side. <laughs> the tank getting more and more value, cycling down this my infantry on this point. Um, more burning hats in the last quarter of the game. The points are equalized now. I still have the double cap point lead, so um, that's kind of nice. But I also have a lot of strong, decently strong infantry here. Um, Granite's defenders are also a good unit, uh, definitely being able to contest with the Wood of Infantry, but um, I have more here. It's just the presence of the tank making this really boring. Point actually getting taken quite quickly here. I'm not sure why. They aren't on the point yet. Do they have still units on the point? No. The knight, <laughs> there's still one knight model on three knight models on the point. Okay, so they apply the full capture weight. Then they have they have four base. Uh, those are fives. This is maybe two left, two left. No, that should be three. Also, this should be three, so eleven from my side. I think, and this is six, this is five, yeah, uh, with the knights it's actually latched inside of the empire and I need to get my waystalker back onto the point to offset at least one of those singer entities. I'm taking this point back, but it was a bit slow, there's a lot of uh, capture weight still flooding in. Um, and breaking a full HP Spearman isn't that easy. And this side has Take fallen, so I'm on a single cap, and I'm not in a position where I can win on a single cap, so I need to do something about it. And this here isn't working out, so, but <laughs> abandoning it is also not an option. It binds so many uh, enemy troops. So the only option is to get this, and I think I should have charged here into the back of the knights there, already a bit low on leadership, and I think that would have cracked them. Uh, but I tried to remove the spearmen instead, which ah, 11 could have worked out, but then the tank just obliterates my spearmen, uh, my glade rider spears. And yeah, it it wasn't enough. I briefly get the capture weight, but um, the points are pushing. I only have uh, 50 seconds until game end, and only like 30 seconds max to get this. And I don't get the capture weight with the knights here now arriving. Some stalling actions, but that's not enough. Uh, I can't win here with the presence of the tank. And yeah, like that the time runs out.
it was super close. Like, I'm losing by uh, 31 point, 41 points. So, 20 seconds somewhere holding the double cap longer. No, actually not. 40 seconds. Damn. <laughs> but I had all the chances and a lot of small mistakes I made there. Uh, for example, with the way watcher positioning uh, added up and you can't really allow to make many mistakes if you need to set off the domineering presence of this tank. Yeah, those I had fairly well in the control. They still got decent-ish value, like they cost 950, so about a third, two thirds going this way is that's not a catastrophe, and they forced a lot of abilities, magic, and positioning for myself, um, giving them the early capture on the second point, on the midpoint, and yeah. The most grave mistake I probably made was this early push for the opponent's home objective, when I just managed to get the long rifles under control and was no longer under the pressure to actually extend into the opponent's side. So, yeah, that's what mainly lost me the game. My archers also didn't do well, but impatient with them and getting, feeding a bit of value into those long rifles. Right shed it very well and still could have used her a bit better of just positioning with her aura. Uh, I could have resolved some fights earlier and then taken points earlier or holding them longer. And yeah, with that, I have casted all the matches I want from the season finals and. Um, let's see where I can get some more replays, uh, currently. And not a lot of them trickling into me, though I just casted Clan War and everything, so can't really complain about that. Maybe a break is better in this sense. Um, see you on the next one, whenever that will be. Bye!